This is a guide on installing an LCD panel on Samsung QX411. Make sure the power is disconnected during installation. The battery is not easily removable on this laptop. You will have to be careful not to turn the computer on while installing the screen. Remove the four rubber bumpers covering the screws in each corner of the bezel. Remove the four screws from the bezel. The screen is covered with transparent plastic layer, which is part of the bezel. Remove the plastic layer by unsnapping it gently from the display assembly, starting at the top right corner. Take extra care of the bottom hinge covers. For easy removal, open the screen all the way wide and use a flat pick or a flat screwdriver to remove the front plastic completely. The screen is secured with four screws near each corner. Remove the screws. Separate out the overlapping frame rails. Gently lay the screen down on the keyboard. You may need to separate the video cable from its channel so that there is not too much strain on the cable. Remove the yellow sticky tape securing the video cable near the video connector and set it onto the back cover for later reuse. Gently peel up the video connector's tape, then disconnect the video connector. Set the old screen aside. The new screen can now be installed. Take out the new screen from the packaging, bend out the protective film tabs, and set the screen on the keyboard. Reconnect the video cable. Make sure it is fully plugged in and is aligned properly. Video connector is very fragile. Be careful not to apply too much force. Reapply the connector tape, then secure it with the additional yellow tape over it. Bring the screen up and set it in place, minding the frame rails that are supposed to be overlaid on top. Remove the protective film. Secure the four LCD screws. At this point, the new screen can be tested. Reconnect the power adapter and press the power button. If the startup graphics appear, the new screen is working properly. Hold the power button to cancel the boot up. The clear plastic layer is notorious for holding dust and grime particles on the inner side. It is best to set it against the LCD and inspect any visible particles. Then clean both the inner side of the plastic and the LCD panel before snapping it back together. Once the area is clean, carefully snap in the plastic bezel all around the perimeter. The plastic tabs make a distinct click when snapped in properly. Reinstall the four outer screws. Clean the front facing layer of the plastic, replace the four rubber bumpers, and you're done.